shower, y'all. I was just thinking about a comment I read um, uh, in response to something I said. S somebody was talking about how we come at, at everybody at, um, you know, if we've been doing low fat raw vegan or, or trying to encourage people or, or like I do, trying to say like how I do it and how I stay on my plan. But the thing is, they said, you know, well, we, we want to encourage people, but yet it's not okay where they are on their journey. I never say that. I think it's definitely where you're supposed to be on your path, on your journey, that you are this dang day. But here's the thing. A lot of people are disgusted with their self, and they are stuck in kind of a rut. They're stuck in a rut that they can't move forward with the dang plan they want to do. And most of the time, it's because it's not a workable plan or they don't have a workable why. You've got to have a workable why, which is basically the why the heck you want to do it. Why do you need to do it? It's like my mother says, Tanya, not everybody's going to need to do that. Well, certainly they're not. Everybody needs to be on a whole food plant-based diet, though, so they can escape disease, but they only need that if they want it for their life because everyone has free will to choose. But what I'm talking about is people that want to get ahead and they keep on falling down. I think we have really got to dissect our actions so we can move ahead. We've got to dissect our plan to see are we getting a high nutrient concentrated hit every time we put the fork in our mouth. Are we realizing that we are either building up our bodies or breaking it down with everyday bite, drink, smoke, or toxic words you're taking in. I think all those go hand in hand. Sitting on the couch, sedentary, watching the news, listening to your spouse witch at you, and, and letting everybody take advantage of you and being a martyr and saying, well, I just, I guess I just can't get to me. Ultimately, yes, it's hard to change your patterns, but you are choosing that for you. You're choosing that. I've got some people in my life that love to lie to me, but ultimately it's not my job to change them from lying. It's my job to decide if lying is something I want to accept. Do you see the difference in that? Is that something I want to accept into my life? It's not my job to change others. But what I'm talking about is people that they keep on falling down, they keep on beating themselves up, and maybe they haven't been on this journey for just a few months. That is going to happen. But at what point do we get to, to a point that we say, enough already. I'm done transitioning. I'm ready to move forward to the next transitional stage, which is where everybody is. I'm transitioning into not taking people's crap. I'm transitioning into bringing in higher frequency and wavelengths into my existence. Everybody can improve where they are. So I just wanted to say that and I wanted to remind you that I love you exactly where you are and I want you to love you too because you recognize the fact that either number one you're not moving forward and you want to do that or number two you're moving forward and you are proud every step of the way, you know. It's a big deal loving you so you can love everybody else. I'll catch y'all later. <laughs> Woo! Don't you know I'm glad to be back. Great news from the news. <laughs>
all these things start to come in play because you're hungry or do you go knowing what you want? I do. I want fresh, whole, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables. The ones that are vibrating at the highest level that I can still afford. That's what I want to buy. I want to do that because I want to continue to feel good. I want to continue to thrive. People ask me all the time, why don't you eat cooked food? Because cooked food drones me down quite a bit, even if it's like, in the years past when I used to try to eat potatoes and rice and all that, beans especially, did not work for me. It brought me down off my high vibrancy, off my my laser focus and, and just the different feeling I live on, you know? And that's what I want. So that's what I strive for every day and I make it happen no matter what. And if I can't get what I want at a restaurant or, or a party or a wedding, then I wait till I can eat what I want. I'm not gonna starve to death. Even if I go 10 days at a very light weight that I am now, I still won't starve. I've done a 10 day water fast in the past where I, I weighed about this weight already. And you know what? I survived just fine. The body's very resilient. You're not gonna die if you skip one meal. So anyway, I just wanted to come to y'all with that and I wanted to talk about do you know what you want, you know? Oh, some old school on today. <laughs> Life. <laughs> I'm on a road trip today. I can't even say where I'm going. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all. We are in the Costco's parking lot where I'm so excited. And y'all, first of all, I want to talk about some staples in my life. And if I basically have fresh greens and I've got some frozen bananas and berries in that refrigerator, in the freezer, and then I've got some chia seeds, all those things, I don't have to, I'm not constantly, do I have fruit? Am I out of fruit? Oh no, I have to eat something else. No, that's my base plan because I know I can always run to that and I don't have to stress. I like to minimize the stress and maximize the nutrition. Do you see what I mean? So here, of course, we've got your, your big old greens. See that? And here's the thing. This is another staple in my life that, that I almost never run out of. And, and I, I want to talk about this, okay? You have to have a, a staple man in your life that, that you know it's just your go-to, you know, and I'm, I'm not saying, it, it's always a hardy situation, you know, and I'm not always saying size matters, that's not what I'm saying, but when it comes to this man, it does, it's, this is Mr. Lemons, do y'all see, look at the size of these mamma jammers, do y'all see that, what this tells me is these things are going to have like the white on the inside when I blend these in the morning and I barely skim off with a peel or the yellow flick out the seeds the ones I see if not I don't stress put it in a little bit of warm water and blend it up in your high-speed blender and you will have a frothy start to the morning that will clean out your whole system and get you zinging and on your way right these the very large have more pith inside which is the more fibery white part that is so good for you do not throw that in the trash don't just juice these this is what you need the pith you know the lemons of love and glory is what these are <laughs> my man <laughs> 